Quitting smoking is hard. I know, I've tried hundreds of times. I used to wake up in the morning with a sore throat and think, I smoked too much last night and I'm never gonna smoke again. But the cigarettes would be right there in the trash where I threw them and before noon I'd be puffing away again. Sometimes I'd make a New Year's resolution on a good year that'd last a couple of days. Once I quit with a friend, that went pretty well for a while, but eventually I went back to smoking again. So how did I eventually quit smoking? First, I realized that I couldn't have cigarettes in the house when I was trying to quit, that I was just sabotaging myself. And I realized that I needed support. That's why it went as well as it did when I quit with my friend. But I had tried so many different ways and failed that I was beginning to feel a little hopeless about ever quitting at all. Then one day, I saw an ad for the Wisconsin Tobacco Quit Line. Usually I blew those ads off thinking, how can talking to somebody on the phone help me quit smoking? But then I thought, well, who knows? Maybe they've got some ideas I haven't thought of. And if I don't like what they have to say, I can just hang up. So I called the quit line. And that was the beginning of my smoke-free life. My quit line coach, Diana, helped me formulate a plan that I could follow through on. A simple plan for success in quitting smoking. She also set me up with two weeks free supply of nicotine patches and suggested that I talk to my doctor about other medications. Turns out Diana had quit smoking herself and she knew exactly what I was going through. She helped me to understand that it takes three things to be successful in quitting smoking. The willingness to try, medication to help me through the worst withdrawal and give me a chance to change, and three, support from friends and family and coaching from a professional like her, someone who has learned how to help people beat this addiction. I realized these were all things I could do. I could try. I made quitting smoking my top priority. I really gave it all my energy. I used the patches the quit line sent me and I asked my doctor for more. Turns out they were covered by my insurance, so they were free. I kept calling the quit line whenever I was having trouble and thinking about going out and buying a pack. I didn't always talk to Diana, but everyone I did talk to was helpful and supportive. Also, I talked to friends who helped and encouraged me to continue in my efforts to quit smoking. So when you're ready to make another try, call the people at the quit line. You can call them or your doctor can refer you and then the quit line will call you. Or ask your doctor about which medication would work best and whether there is a quit smoking coach in your clinic. You may not be successful the next time you try but you can give yourself a fighting chance with the medications and professional coaching. It isn't easy, but I can't tell you how happy I am that I used everything that the quit line and my doctor had to offer to help me quit.